So hello gamers and welcome to the ultimate gun guide for Rushpoint. If you didn't know, Rushpoint is Roblox Valorant, and as with Valorant and CSGO, there are a lot of different quirks to each gun, and spray patterns in this game are pretty interesting, same as CSGO and Valorant, whereas they have some RNG but are very high and also have their own spray patterns depending on the gun, and today I'm going to be telling you tips for every single gun, damage, range, and other stats, as well as tips, what they're good for, and which guns suck, because there are a lot of guns in this game that are not worth using. An overall general tip is if you don't move, you will be very accurate. A lot of people already know that, but please use that in your games. But anyways, let's start it off with the default pistol. The Salvo is the default pistol, aka the Glock of this game. Unlike the CSGO Glock, it doesn't have a burst, but there is a burst pistol, which is kind of cheap. We'll get to that one next. This pistol has an RPM of 300, which surprisingly enough is the highest in class. It has a pretty fast movement speed, a pretty fast reload time, and decently good spread. But this gun sucks. Why does it suck so bad? The reason is it just doesn't do a lot of damage. 30, 25, and 20. And this this game seems to have some kind of like negative limb multiplier because this gun is not a five shot. It's probably about an eight shot to the body and a four shot to the head. It has a 12 round mag, which is also the smallest in class except for the deagle. Yes, it's free, but does less damage. It just doesn't work that well. It's pretty much unusable to the body. If you're not hitting any headshots, it's just not going to kill. So I recommend you go for headshots, but even then it's probably about a four shot. And of course, with all the pistols, the spread is not really a factor. So I'm not going to do the spray pattern for each of the pistols. They really just don't have a spray pattern at all. They just go RNG mode. Now for a second pistol, we have the Freyer. The Freyer actually only has 100 RPM even though it's a burst, and you'll notice that it doesn't shoot very fast, so the burst is kind of just annoying, and it does a little bit more CQC damage than the default pistol with a slightly better first damage range of 0 to 60 instead of 0 to 50, but it drops so much. It drops over half of its damage. It goes from 32 to 15, so it's gonna 5-shot torso, maybe a 3-shot headshot, depending on the multis because we can't actually see multis in the game currently. I have never one bursted with this thing. I don't know why you would use a burst because of that. Like you can see in some of these clips, I'm actually hitting mostly headshots, but I'm not one bursting. So I don't know why there's a burst like this in the game. Even though it's the cheapest pistol, except for the free one, I just don't recommend you use this one. It's just kind of eh, it's not too bad. I like the 93R in other games, but this is just not very good. It's just kind of like a, not even a 93R at this point. Next, we have the Peacemaker. The Peacemaker is the suppressed pistol and probably your go-to pick, except for the Deagle. It shoots a little bit slower than the default pistol but only by 60 rpm and it does have 240 rpm it has a bigger mag it does more damage, it has less drop, it has better damage ranges, it's an upgrade to the default pistol in nearly every way, it reloads a little bit slower but it's not a big deal, it's only like 0.2 seconds, actually it's 3 instead of 2.4 so it's kind of a difference, at least from my experience I haven't really noticed that. It also has the same spread, I would really recommend this gun, it's not a really good gun overall, it won't be one shotting to the head uh, unless somebody's like pretty weak or just has no armor or something, it is literally just a direct upgrade to the default pistol and I recommend it over the default pistol so much, I've gotten so many more kills with this and it has a suppressor, which is a nice upside, I guess. And then the last pistol is the Deagle, aka the Chancellor. It does 50 to 120 studs, which means it's going to three shot torso. But to the head, this is going to one shot up to 120 studs, probably. After that point, I have hit markered with this gun. Maybe it's hit reg, but I don't think it headshot kills past that range. It also has 150 RPM and kind of reloads pretty slow. It reloads a little bit faster than the Peacemaker, aka Ghost, aka USPS, I guess, but it's not noticeable at all. It's 0.1 seconds. It also has more spread than them, but it's not a big deal. RNG, if you spam this thing or walk with it, but overall I'd say this is pretty good if you're not moving and you just hit headshots. I recommend you go for headshots. If you don't one shot, it's a two shot head, so it doesn't matter. Not one shotting with this gun can be annoying, but it's kind of understandable because it is a pistol after all and it kind of outperforms every other pistol in the game. But yeah, overall, I would probably just recommend buying this one in basically every case. It costs a thousand dollars, which is a lot more than the other pistols, but let's be real, going for headshots with this is really effective. Just crouch, hit a headshot, and kill a guy. I really just don't see the other pistols being being as effective. The suppressed peacemaker is good. It's solid, but it just doesn't perform as well. Next up though, we have the shotguns, which you're probably going to be like, are the shotguns good? The answer is no. They're kind of interesting. I mean, the biggest problem with the shotguns is probably that they don't one shot that far at all. This one does 16 to 10 studs and from 10 to 20, it does 12 and then it does eight. So it does half its damage at 20 studs, which 20 studs is not very far away. So pretty much you just do half damage from like more than a foot away. Also, they have like no recoil. They just center too fast to have recoil. This one shoots at 55 RPM, which is kind of slow. It walks in an all right speed at 0.9, which is not the best, but it's not too bad. And yeah, overall, you're probably not going to one shot even to the head. So I don't really recommend this thing. And even if you're a bad player, I don't recommend use this. It takes a little bit more skill than you'd think. And even then, it's not actually that good. The snapper is by far the worst gun in the entire game. It has a spread of seven, which is like four times the other shot.
shotgun, it also drops from 12 to 11 to 6. Yeah, at 20 studs, it drops from 11 to 6, so it loses half its damage in like one second. It starts doing less damage, and it just ends up doing way less damage. I have rarely one shot with this gun. I have rarely even two shot at close range. It is just so bad. At like probably 50 studs away, you won't even hit a single pellet. I mean, it shoots like three times the speed of the other shotgun, and it walks pretty fast and the reload time is kind of slow but not too bad but it only has two bullets and it just has no reserve and it costs money like just use the default pistol i would recommend the default pistol over this gun and it's a secondary the only time i could see it being maybe useful is if you have a sniper and you run it as your secondary and then maybe it would be okay for like cqc but even then just use the deagle now we're into the smgs which if you didn't know in cs they're not that meta but they're pretty good in cs but in this game they are kind of oh they're pretty bad it doesn't really walk that fast the sawed off walks faster than it and it's an smg you want it to walk pretty fast. I guess technically this sawed off probably weighs less, but still. It has 800 RPM, which is really fast, but only a 20 round mag, and it does 40 damage to 20 studs, and then goes to 27 and 22. So up close, it does a ton of damage, more than a lot of the rifles, so it's 4 CQC, but to 20 studs, really, man, I don't see this doing much damage, and even then, it has, like, the worst RNG you've ever seen. It's also worth mentioning that this has zero first shot recoil. Even if you stand still and crouch and fire one bullet, it will not hit. I don't know why. And 20 rounds with 800 rpm is just not enough the only advantage i guess is that it shoots fast it might be okay on like an eco round or something it actually costs less than the striker and that gets us to the other smg aka the ump or the fury the fury does have that first shot accuracy thing that the other smg lacks you can hit shots at range however it still walks fast but it doesn't shoot very fast it does way less damage for some reason even though it's a 45 acp usually it does 28 to 20 to 18 so it drops a ton and then it doesn't drop anymore and 60 studs for the max is not bad 28 max is not very good damage expect to have about the same shots to kill as the default pistol so like eight shots to kill to the body and also it has probably one of the slowest reloads in the entire game at 3.3 seconds this is just crazy like the reload time is just it makes it impossible to use and also the spray patterns are not even that good the way that i control the recoil is i just pull down into the right and then i just stop shooting after a few shots as you can see it works pretty fine overall i don't recommend using this thing past any range maybe run it with like zolt and then run to the front and just shoot a guy in the head but yeah for most guys it's probably not going to work past any range and the price is better than a rifle but still not even that much less if it was like 1200 dollars, maybe but just buy a vindicator for like 600 more and then you can one shot headshot and speaking of the vindicator has 12 bullets Bullets. It doesn't drop any damage and it one shot headshots all ranges. And it has 240 RPM. The reload is very, very slow, but it has very little first shot spread and it's just so accurate. In my testing, I had to actually click it as fast as physically possible to actually get the recoil. If you're crouching and not moving, this thing is perfectly accurate. And that can make it a beast, even though it doesn't have like automatic or a ton of RPM or anything. It does a lot of damage. It's gonna four shot torso, almost a three shot torso, and it's gonna one shot headshot. You can buy this on like second round easily. I'd recommend this over any SMG, any shotgun, any pistol. It's just basically a deagle with like very, very good accuracy. And it has 0.95 movement, which is pretty good. Just a little bit less than like an SMG, but not a very big deal, like 5% less, which is like I said, not a very big deal. I'd probably recommend this over maybe even like the sniper, like the infuser, maybe not the sentinel, but it's kind of outclassed by the later guns in this list, but it basically destroys every gun before it. And then next up you have the Eclipse, aka the suppressed scar. This has the same RPM as the Fury at 667 for some reason. It has some decent first shot spread, but not amazing. It moves the same speed as the Vindicator, and the reload time is decently fast, faster than the Fury, even though it shouldn't be. SMGs are supposed to reload fast. That's part of the reason they're decent, but yeah. This drops 32 to 28 to 24. Damage ranges are decent. That gives it about a five shot torso, two shot headshot, which is very annoying considering the next gun on the list is the same price. But yeah, this gun is decent. I don't know. Personally, I do not recommend this gun because the gun after is the same price. And you might think, yes, this is a suppressed gun, so it's better. Suppressors in this game at the moment do not feel that good. Most guns actually just don't have any shot sound past like two studs away. You should be able to hear non-suppressed guns from decently far away, but you can't, so I don't really recommend using a suppressed gun because basically every gun is essentially suppressed. Overall, the Crimson is going to destroy you, and that gets us on to the Crimson. The Crimson has a little bit less RPM, about 120 less. It still has 550, which is quite a bit. It has a little bit better first shot spread, but it walks a little bit slower, and it actually reloads a little bit faster, which is kind of an interesting thing. And it does 40 all ranges, 
with no drop, which is kind of insane because that means it can headshot kill all ranges. So in testing, I've sometimes like not gotten a headshot kill. Maybe it's hit reg, I don't know. Overall, this gun is insane. I don't need to tell you guys why this is insane. If you want to know how to control the recoil, basically it just goes up into the right and then it just kind of goes all over the place. So I don't recommend spamming it. It has a sweet spot of about eight bullets before it starts really going up. Just shoot down into the left and you will just hit everything. But honestly, the best way to use this usually is just to tap fire. Yeah, just tap fire people in the head or just look down into the left for a little bit and you'll kill everybody. 40 to the body means a four shot torso. You might five shot or maybe six shot depending on where you hit. But yeah, one shot headshot. So just aim for the torso and then hit the head with the recoil, I guess. Or just go for the head in one tap. I usually tap fire and that's what most people are doing now. But then we're getting on to the final two guns, the beefy sniper rifles. The first one is the infuser, which is the lightweight one. It fires at 60 RPM, which is a lot faster than the sentinel. It has a first shot spread of two for some reason, but it always aims in the same spot as you can see by the recoil quote unquote because it doesn't really have recoil. Well, kind of slow with it, but not super slow. Reloads, it takes 0.5 seconds per bullet, so it's a total of 2.5 seconds, which is pretty good, and it does 101 torso, which means it three shots limb, which sucks because I don't know why it should. I wish this was a two shot anywhere, but it's not. It's a two shot torso and one shot head at 60 RPM, and it aims really, really fast, which is really nice. It's pretty much the scout of this game. It's faster, but it just does less damage. So overall, it's really fun to use, but not necessarily better than the other gun that can one shot. The huge advantage of this is it's so cheap. It's 30 1300 which is $1,100 less than the Vindicator and less than half of the Crimson. So if you want to get a one-shot headshot with the scope and maybe do a little bit better body damage, I don't know about the three shots to the limbs because it's a sniper rifle and only has five bullets, but still very fun gun to use. And if you're good at hitting headshots, it can be pretty effective. But if you have the money, just buy a Crimson though. But I still recommend using this gun a little bit because it's really, really fun to use. Then we have our final gun, the Sentinel. Now the Sentinel has, of course, no recoil. It has 36 RPM. First shot spread of Seven, which I guess means it has a ton of hit fire spread, which is true. Movement speed multiplier of 0.82, the slowest in the game. It's a pretty big difference. You feel pretty slow with this gun, and you kind of are. It's noticeable for sure. It has a reload time of 3.5 seconds, which is obviously very, very slow. And it does 150 torso, so like 75 limbs. If you hit the limbs, it will not one shot, but if you hit the torso, it'll one shot, and if you hit the head, it'll obviously one shot. It has just over half the RPM of the infuser, and it costs like three times as much, so it's definitely worth using the other sniper rifle. It's also a lot faster, but this one obviously just does the damage. I feel like the infuser is more fun to use, but this one is definitely better. It doesn't matter how slow it shoots if it torso kills all ranges. This is basically the op of this game, except the op actually limb kills. It's not necessarily the best gun in the game. I'd say the Crimson is the best, but if you want to get a sniper rifle, this is the one. Even though it costs nearly $5,000, it's definitely worth the buy if you're going to get kills with it. If you're not, just use the Crimson. A good tip for this one is just aim for the torso. The torso is the biggest hitbox on the body, and make sure the red dot actually pops uh, the red dot means you have 100% accuracy and that means you need to you know, shoot the guy in the head, but not even the head with this one. So just shoot him in the torso. It's the biggest hitbox. And do not hit fire with the snipers. You probably won't hit it, although the scout, I guess the infuser, does have a better hit fire spread, but still. It's definitely worth it to aim down sights because then you can actually hit a shot 100% of the time and usually get a kill. But yeah, gamers, this video took me so long to actually finish. A lot of editing, a lot of getting gameplay and stuff, and it just took me so long to record everything. So if you guys could like and sub, that would be awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you want more videos on this game, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.